Hi, I'm Mike Stanton at Build America Mutual. It's September 16th. This is the BAM Weekly Update, and I'm joined by Grant Dewey from BAM's Capital Markets Desk. Thanks for being here, Grant. Thank um, you. Let's start in the interest rate markets. What uh, The trend has definitely turned in the last two weeks. What are you seeing there? It sure has. I mean, the market took a breather this week. We're seeing higher rates. We're seeing weaker fund flows. Uh, and we're also, you know, seeing um, the high levels of issuance, 10.7 billion this week, which is run, running about 50% higher uh, than our average of 6.8 billion uh, year to date. And, and so that's put some technical pressure on the market and, and coupled, with, uh, coupled with the higher uh, treasury rates, we had a very tough week in Munis. Tough week, all relative to where things were at extremely strong levels in the past couple True. of weeks. Um, so let's take a look at the at the new issue market. As you mentioned, 10.7 last week. What uh, kind of transactions was BAM involved in? So uh, we had another solid week. We had insured volume of 265 million. Uh, the largest deal we were involved with last week was a 69 million dollar Washoe County, Nevada uh, school district deal. We also were on a uh, 65 million dollar Cannon McMillan. Pennsylvania school district deal, so we've been busy in that sector. And those school district transactions are bread and butter both for BAM and for the market overall. We saw uh, the report from Bond Buyer and Refinitiv this week that education financing is the largest use of proceeds mm -hmm. so far this year, over $66 billion, and that's looking very strong. Um, looking ahead to next week, another strong week for, for issuance overall, I think $10.3 billion on the calendar. What uh, What's highlighted in BAM's world? So I think uh, next week we're uh, going to be used on a Reading Pennsylvania school district deal that uh, carries an A2 uh, Moody rating and we'll obviously have the AA S&P uh, BAM enhanced rating and uh, so I think that's kind of the headline deal for next week. Howard Spumberg from BAM's East Coast uh, Public Finance Group reviewed that transaction. I was talking to him and he mentioned that Reading is, is actually a fairly stable credit, uh, just under 90,000 people. The school district covers the entire city of Reading, just under 90,000 people, just under 18,000 students. Um, and one of the things that's interesting about Reading is BAM has insured Reading for multiple years. I, th I think BAM first insured Reading uh, five years ago. So we've monitored the credit over multiple years and we've seen the fiscal conditions inside the district improve. So thanks again, Grant, for joining us this week. Next week, we have the Federal Reserve meeting to watch. Uh, people are expecting a change in, in short-term interest rates, right? I think it's another 25 basis points is, is what people are looking for. Uh, we've, um, you know, the ECB cut rates this week, and I think the, the strong sentiment is that the Fed will have to follow with 25. Okay, something to watch for. We'll have the update next week. Thanks. BAM and its member cities, towns, and school districts have mutual values. Municipal bond investors and issuers rely on BAM to achieve their mutual goals, making infrastructure more affordable and investment safer. America is building again, and BAM Insurance is helping to finance that bright future. That's all we do. Guaranteeing U.S. municipal bonds for central public projects. We do this for the same reason you do. Building America. BAM. The feeling is mutual.